Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Jacob Snowden. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day, the start to Holy Week, uh, and wonderful weather we're having for a global pandemic, huh? I was thinking about the weather a little bit this week whenever I was looking at the story of Noah. It's in Genesis 7 and 8. Chapter 7 is about the floods coming, and we remember that's the time when God said, uh, Noah, I am offering a, a stay at your houseboat order. You are not to go anywhere or do anything. And I wonder if you remember how long that was. It, maybe you remember that it was 40 days and 40 nights. There's traffic in a bag going down the street. It was 40 days and 40 nights when the rains came. Maybe you even remember that it was 150 days after that that the waters abated. But if you look at a couple of key passages, you'll see when the floods start. Noah was 600 years old, and it was the second month and the 17th day. Just before God commands Noah to get off the ark, Noah is 601 on the second month, on the 27th day. That what we remember as the hardest time, the time when it was raining, was just 40 days and 40 nights, but Mo knows it. <laughs> Noah, not Moses, Noah was on the ark for over a year. Now, I don't know how long that we will be social distancing or that we'll be in our homes, but I say this, it takes time for the waters to abate. It takes time for us to get back to normal, and we can be prepared for that that shortly after the waters abated, all of chapter eight is about what Noah did. First, he opens a window, and then he sends out a raven, and then he sends back a dove. He sends back a dove again, and it comes with an olive branch. And then a week later, uh, he sees that the land is drying up. That there are things we can do. There are signs of hope that we take. What will it be like? What does it mean for us whenever we're able to open our windows? What does it mean whenever we're able to uh, take the cover off of our ark? What does it mean when we send out our first bird? What does it mean when they come back with a sign that there is something like solid ground, that we're getting back to a new sort of normal? I hope this week, uh, Holy Week, that you see that there are things around us that are joyful, that are hopeful that we do have our ways of sending out our, our doves in the ways that we do uh, find peace among us, ourselves. So I hope you look for those. Email us to let us know what they are. Uh, you'll be seeing grace notes throughout the week. There's lots of go uh, things going on for Holy Week. And so I hope that in some ways that this is a memorable Holy Week. How could it not be? And that we look uh, towards the future, that we send out our uh, signs of hope and our signs of peace. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.